Welcome to the DLR webcast. This is our Robomobil. It's our robotic electric vehicle. Uh, it embodies um, the fusion of the planetary rovers uh, together with robotic technologies. Um, it has integrated uh, wheel robots, so-called wheel robots. You have integrated steering and traction motors in the wheel and it also um, brings the um, vision stereo camera systems from the rover technologies on Mars or even uh, other planets to our vehicle. So this vehicle is um, capable to see surrounding in 360 degrees 3D vision. The applications of Robomobil are uh, tests on test benches or um, driving facilities to test different driving maneuvers like collision avoidance. We have here a demonstration of um, the 360 degrees 3D stereo vision. As you see on the display, we have a surround view, a, a virtual surround view um, of the car and you can see us and uh, also the camera team. What we see here is um, part of the Alps between Munich and Bolzano. We're using this area to show, to demonstrate different remote sensing techniques. Optical remote sensing as well as radar remote sensing techniques. From my point of view, um, one of the most interesting missions at the moment in the Earth observation area is the uh, Tandem X mission. The two satellites, TerraSX and Tandem X, are flying in a very close orbit, only 150 to 400 meters apart, with a velocity of 25,000 kilometers per hour. From this uh, orbit, both satellites can observe the Earth in a stereoscopic way so that we can derive a very precise digital elevation model from the Earth in a resolution of only 12 meters and an accuracy better than 2 meters. This is fantastic and it can be used for example for observing, monitoring um, the breathing of volcanoes or for example to monitor um, underground construction sites. Here you see uh, a new life support system. We are researching on a new biofilter system called CROP. CROP uh, is the short form for Combined Regenerative Organic Food Production. And um, with this system it's possible to clean wastewater and to fertilize plants. In this system, you can see uh, a big biofilter. Um, in this tube are rocks, lava rock, and uh, lava rock is a good substrate for microorganisms, which uh, are, uh, are able to nitrificate uh, ammonium or urea, and uh, the final product will be nitrate, and with nitrate you can fertilize plants. You can use such a system in your uh, private room or uh, in space. What you can see here is our autonomous moon rover called Asimov. It uses the same technology for um, 3D reconstruction of the environment as the Romomobil. Um, so basically from two uh, camera images it computes a depth image. Uh, that is used just to, um, well, to know how the environment looks three-dimensionally. And this is used in an autonomous navigation uh, process um, for um, driving to target points that I can select in the camera image. So basically when I click in the camera image just to this point, the robot knows where it has to go and it uh, searches um, um, the safest and um, well, the most easiest path to go to this, uh, to this target point. Um, the uh, 3D reconstruction uh, can be seen in this, in this map. Um, the map is evaluated by the system. Green means that the system can uh, go safely through this, uh, this way and red means there are stones or other objects. 
and after reaching the target point I can tell the, the system to go home just by pressing H and the system returns to its uh, origin. The whole technology for autonomous uh, navigation has been developed by our institute, the Institute of Robotics and Mechatronics in Oberpfaffenhofen. Thank you. This was a DLR webcast.